potentially justice will not be televised. And that is all depending on whether or not Donald Trump gets his way. Now, in a similar fashion to some of his co-conspirators, I'm sure you've all been keeping up with the updates on Mark Meadows, trying to remove his case to federal court. Trump is also making that same argument. And Reuters reported on this and they wrote that federal court could be more favorable for Donald Trump because he would face a more politically diverse jury pool than in Fulton County, a Democratic stronghold. A federal trial would also allow him to argue that he is immune from prosecution for actions he took as part of his official duties as president because apparently trying to overturn the democratic results of election is part of your presidential duties. Such a move, however, would still involve a trial prosecuted by Willis under Georgia state law. We've also talked about on the show that one of the other benefits that he gets is he might receive a judge that's more favorable towards him, potentially a Trump appointed judge. But we'll get more into that as that develops. Now, US District Judge Steve Jones is expected to rule on the petitions to move the matter into federal courts this coming week. From that Reuters report, a bid by Trump to move his case could compound legal complications that already threaten the prosecution's lofty goal of trying all 19 defendants as soon as next month. Judge Scott McAfee on Wednesday granted a request by former Trump lawyers Kenneth Cheesebro. I'm sorry, every time I read that name, it trips me up a little bit. Cheesebro and Cindy Powell to be tried on October 23rd, though he has yet to decide whether the other defendants will join them. Now, Trump's wider legal troubles are going to create further scheduling issues as he faces potential trials next year. In three other criminal cases, we have from WAPO a little chart mapping out all of the different trials. We could pull that up. Thank you. So, Maz, one thing that gets me is the way that the Republicans have been trying to frame, because we'll see on the chart, it says that the, the federal January 6th case is scheduled to start the day before Super Tuesday. And Republicans love to say that this is potentially undermining democracy, which is the most ironic argument they could be making by saying that they're gonna be sullying the, the voters before right before Super Tuesday, which is a funny argument to me because unless you know Nikki Haley comes in with a steel chair, it seems like the Republican nominee nation's already been decided for Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, it's all, uh, you know, I said it once uh, before and I'll say it again. People keep saying that his, uh, that the court cases are going to interfere with his campaigning schedule. I say that his campaigning schedule is gonna interfere with his court cases because He's got a lot of court cases. <laughs> and and now that they're trying to take that other one to the federal court, you would think that one of the excuses not to take it is like, oh no, you already got one in federal. You don't need another, like you've already got one. Um, I mean, this guy's so slimy and his lawyers and, and the whole team, obviously you wanna defend yourself and come up with any kind of defense you can to uh, put it into your favor. And yeah, I've been hearing a lot about how if it goes to federal, the idea is that Possibly the jury pool is gonna be wider and there'll be more Republicans that will be on the jury and maybe vote in his favor. But at this point, I'm so, I mean, I be I gotta be honest with you. I'm so shocked that we're in this world right now where this guy is still out of prison and this guy has not been shunned. At least he should be exiled somewhere. After January 6th, I thought, Republicans, Democrats, everybody saw with their own eyes and realized that this guy's a criminal. It's, it's, you know, the, the, the proof. How, how many other ways you need to prove it? We got the phone call. We've got texts. We've got emails. We've got so much information and so much evidence that this guy is guilty, and yet he keeps trying to slime his way into another moment of being the road runner and us being Wiley e. Coyote. It's time to just stop this dude and and really put him where he needs to be. He really is a, a dangerous detriment to this country, to democracy, and all of the above. So, and and as you said, it doesn't affect his running because these whoever it is that supports him continues to support him. It's it blows my mind. People say, oh, Joe Biden is old, but Donald Trump is old, um, and also he's old. He's an old criminal. He's an old criminal who is a who's a fascist who wants to rule by his way. So I don't understand these people that support him, but pretty much he's already the guy. So we may as well just get rid of the other guys and and then just have you know maybe that'll expedite his court cases. If we go listen, you don't have to be on um, on on the campaign anymore. Just go to your court cases and we'll see you election day. Right and. 
you know, every word that comes out of Trump's mouth is a lie, except for the one time he told the truth was when he said I could shoot someone on in the middle of Fifth Avenue and I wouldn't lose a single vote. And I think just because as you highlighted all this irrefutable evidence that he did what he's been accused of has been made available to the public and he's still winning the nomination by miles and miles and it's mortifying. But what else is mortifying is and you mentioned the jury pool and it's it's limitations because of you know and how it might be more beneficial for him to move to federal because it creates the possibility that more Republicans might be weighing in. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.